Previously, we are able to use reader syntax to render HTML with C sharp expressions. What about control structures like looping? In this video, we're going to learn how to use looping to output list inside our reader component. So let's go into Visual Studio and let's go to our servers page component. Currently, we placed two server components inside it. So let's remove it right? because we want to dynamically generate this list. But for now, we're not going to use our support component. For now, we're going to use reader syntax to loop through a list inside our static repository. First of all, in order to loop through a list of servers, we need to have a variable to store that list of servers. So we can declare a variable here and say private, and then we can have a list of servers. So we're going to just say servers. And we can just initialize that with our static repository here. So I'm going to say servers repository, and we can just get servers by city. We are going to get servers from the city of Toronto. Okay, so now we initialize this. We need to use reader syntax to loop through this and generate a list. For a list, we can have a an ordered list. And then we just need to have several li. So how do we generate the several li's? We can use for each. And to use for each, as in C sharp, we can write for each. But when you write it this way, it's considered as HTML. Then how do we fix that? As you guessed, we use the add sign. Once we use the add sign, this is considered as C sharp. Right? And then you just write C sharp. So I'm going to say var server in servers. And then they have brackets. Remember in reader syntax, when you use control structures, you have to use bracket. You cannot omit them. Although in C sharp, you can, but in reader syntax, you cannot. So always remember to write your curly braces for control structures. And then you just place your li inside it, right? So whatever the HTML elements that you want to repeat, then just put them inside the for each loop. Of course, you can use for loop, you can use while loop, you can use any loop that is valid in C sharp can be placed inside this HTML section here, as long as you start it with the at sign. So then here inside this list, we want to see the server's name, uh, maybe the server city and the server status. And how do we do that? We can use the things that we learned, implicit reader expressions and explicit expressions. Right. So for example, the name here, we can say server dot name and then followed by HTML. So English word in and then followed by city name, followed by the word is and then explicit reader expression here. We say server dot is online. If it's online, then we're going to say online. Otherwise, we're going to say offline here. So this is all good. Again, I want to output in different colors. If it's online, I want to show green. Otherwise, I want to show it red. But this time, I don't want to modify the color of this whole line. I just want to modify the color of this online and offline English word here. So for that, maybe we add a span here and then put this inside the span. And then we can modify the style attribute here. And we say color colon, and then again, explicit reader expression here we can put us inside, and this is going to be green, and this is going to be red. Now this is too long, so maybe perhaps we can uh, format it a little bit better, like this. Right? Just make sure that there is a space here, and that's it. So we can restart our application, and let's go over here. And we can see that our server one, two, three, four. So all the servers in Toronto is rendered and they're all online. And no matter how much you refresh them, they won't get offline because uh, the all of the servers are stored and generated in the static repository. So let's go over here. So this is run when the application starts. In order to get a different status, you will have to rerun the application. But anyhow, you know that we have four servers inside Toronto and all of them are being displayed right here. So in order to see different status, we can close this application and restart the application. And now if I go to slash servers, now you can see we have one of them offline and the other three online. 
So you have learned how to use C Sharp Loop to generate a list, right? It doesn't have to be UL and LI. It can be any HTML element that you want to repeatedly render. Whenever you want to repeatedly render any HTML element, you can use a loop and then just put the HTML element inside it. And then inside that element, you can use different razor expressions to express yourself and generate the HTML that you want to generate. Okay, that's everything I want to cover in this video. I will see you in the next one.